Welcome to AskTheCabinetMaker.com. This is Mark. This is a job we've been on for about a month. We just completely finished, so we came back to show you what was going on. I refaced this job. We went in, and the cabinets we built in 1979, we went over the top and put uh, cherry over the top of oak. And then we recrowded, put all the doors on, put paneling here. You can see there's paneling down here, the bigger paneling. It comes around the corner, and then it comes around the corner over on this side, over towards the TV, where we took this unit, right here, and we put a whole new face frame in and redid, refaced, surfaced all this, new doors here. And if you look across here, the wainscot comes along here in the wall too, back over here to the dining area. You can see this is the dining area. And then we had a desk that we had built here years ago, we just kept the desk the same as it was. Got a couple doors up inside with an organizer inside for things. Um, also, they put new granite tops on. We did all the desk drawers, refaced it, all this stuff, all the whole cabinets. And then, same with all the doors here. When I got to the oven, I had to restructure because we put a new microwave in and a new oven. Completely rebuilt the face of this and rebuilt the whole face of this oven to get all this stuff to work back inside again. And then what we did on the uppers, and you could see underneath we put all lights inside. All the lights underneath the counter. You can see the, the halogen lights. We use a Hera light, which is a real good quality brand. If you take a look when the doors open up, you can see where we have a little blank spot up here and the dishes sit on top. That's all for all the wiring and stuff. So we come back over on this side, and we can take a look at the countertops and the inside of the kitchen. So over here, we did lights also. If you look here, there's lights under here, and there's lights over here also, and there's a light over there. So at nighttime, you can turn all the counter lights on. Um, if you look at the hood, we tore out the old hood, completely demoed the hood, and I built this custom hood to fit the insert hood right here. As you can see, I tied it in with the paneling on the other side, so we have the V-grooves here, which tie with all the wainscot paneling everywhere. Put some nice fancy molding on it, crown at the top, left it open on either side, the hood duct goes in the center, and then the tile man came in and put all the tile all around it. And as you can see, we have a nice little picture, picturesque type piece unit in here above the range, which looks really nice. You can look at all new breadboards, all the new drawer fronts. We did change this. This was something else. We put this in for a dog food bin because this is out in the country. They got some big dogs, and dogs eat a lot of food. Got a corner Susan over here. We just restructured that, put a new door on that, changed that. Yes. On the sink, which you can see the new granite countertops, we changed that and put a tip down in. So you can see you can have your, your dish towel, your uh, sponges and your rags and stuff inside there. Uh, had to do a little bit of retrofit on the pull-out trays, cut them down because the old hinges, we put all concealed hinges in now, and the old hinges take up a little bit more space, so we had to cut the trays down by about an inch. So we'll pull the old trays out, cut them down by an inch, put them back in, put the new hinges in. So that's about where we were coming from on this job. Uh, wanted to, you to see the complete. This is the final, final of the final. And uh, thanks for following me on AskCabinetMaker.com. Also, remember to look at April's blog, Cabinet Girl, and you can get to that website or that blog from this uh, AskCabinetMaker.com. Take a look at that when you get a chance. Again, thank you for following. This is Mark.